हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एंडोस्पर्म कल्चर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज एंडोस्पर्म सो एंडोस्पर्म इट इज अ टिश्यू दैट प्रोवाइड द न्यूट्रिशन टू डेवलपिंग एम्ब्रियो सो एंडोस्पर्म इट इज फॉर्मड इन द एंजियोस्पर्म एंड ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो दिस एंडोस्पर्म टिश्यू इट प्रोवाइड द और यू कैन से इट सप्लाई द न्यूट्रिशन टू द डेवलपिंग embryo now the types of endosperm culture so the endosperm culture it can be of two types and this these types they include mature endosperm culture and immature endosperm culture so this mature endosperm culture as the name indicate here we take the mature endosperm so you can say it is the development of mature endosperm from ripen endospermic seed on the suitable medium while immature endosperm culture here we take or we isolate the immature endosperm and allow that immature endosperm to grow on the suitable medium so endosperm culture is you can say it is the culturing of endosperm on the artificial medium while it include either mature endosperm culture or immature endosperm culture now the procedure of this endosperm culture it include the first step is the explant source means first of all we select the explant from where we can isolate the endosperm so in most of the cereals the mature endosperm it does not respond to the cultural condition so therefore we excise this endosperm at the proper period of development and normally the endosperm of cereals it undergo certain changes from 12 days after the pollination making this able to respond means 12 days after the pollination the endosperm generally respond so the first step is the explant source means from where we can get the endosperm next the second step is the inoculation of explant means once we isolated the endosperm then we inoculate it so for in vitro culture of mature endosperm the seeds have the massive endosperm that can be decoated surface sterilized with suitable uh, disinfectant and it can be you can say planted on the nutrition media and for the in vitro culture of immature endosperm the entire seed the complete seed is surface sterilized and the endospermic tissue is excised under the aseptic condition and then allowed to grow on the nutrition medium so this is the inoculation of explant the third step is maintenance of culture so once the explant or endosperm has been inoculated on the culture medium now we have to maintain the culture so to maintain the culture we generally you can say in case of endosperm culture they require the darkness and diffused light and the differentiation generally takes place when the callus they are transferred to the bright light that is 2000 lux to the 4000 lux and the temperature should be 25 degree centigrade so these are the culture conditions now next once the culture is maintained so there will be the formation you can say the plantlet the plant may be uh, formed from either from the organogenesis pathway or from the embryogenesis pathway the embryogenesis or embryo differentiation it generally occurs when the proliferative tissue is transferred from the callosic medium to the base cell media with or without the gibralins means gibralins they may not be required for the embryogenesis and next step is the plant development or you can say the plant let development and so from the cultured medium the plantlet will be developed and this plantlet may be transferred from the green house now what are the factor that affect the endospermic culture so the factor affecting they include first explant stage so definitely the culture will depend upon the explant it stays and it this factor generally depend upon the species the next factor is nutrient medium generally it require very low amount of reduced nitrogen and in some cases the media should be supplemented with 2,4-D that is 2,4-dichlorophenoxyacetic acid or indole acetic acid and cytokinins the next factor they are the physical factor they affect the culture so they include that pH should be 7 the pH of the medium should be 7 and the temperature should be 
about 24 to 27 degree centigrade and photo period required is 12 to 16 hours. So, these are the certain factors which can affect the endosperm culture. Now, what are the application of this endosperm culture? So, as we know the endosperm is a triploid in nature. So, here the endosperm culture can be used for the production of triploid plants. The triploid plants are the self sterile and they are usually seedless plants and this trait the you can say the trait it increase edibility of fruit because they are seedless so they can be a uh, more easily uh, you can say editable. So, they this trait the seedless trait it in, increase the edibility of fruits and desirable in the plants such as apple, banana, grape, watermelon, mango. The next application include like in timber and the fruit yielding plant the triploid they show the better performance over the you can say diploid and tetraploid plant. So, these are the certain applications of endosperming culture. So, this is all about the endosperm culture its types and various applications. So, that is over today guys see you in the next video. Thank you very much.